Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. In this video, we're going to cover how to update our BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor, find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so um, in this video, we're going to talk about how to update the BIOS. It's just going to be solely the BIOS. Uh, two videos from now, we're actually going to show you how to uh, do mass updates, which is going to be the BIOS, the firmware, the iDRAC, the onboard diagnostics, the NIC card, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, that's how I recommend you really do your updates. Um, this is a good way if you're in a pinch, uh, you just grab a USB, uh, you can download an EFI file that you can actually install with Boot Manager and uh, be able to uh, update the BIOS if you don't have an operating system. And this is a great way to do it, um, but I do recommend checking out the Mass Updates video. I think that you'll find that very, interested, uh, very interesting if you're interested in this. So, all right, well, let's get rolling. All right, so we're going to get started here. So again, I wanted to, uh, to stress this. There's a, you know, several different ways and different methods to update your BIOS. The way that we're going to be showing you right now is the method where we're actually going to download a BIOS update via an EFI file, and we're going to download the update onto a USB. Um, and then we're going to take that USB and actually um, install the update, and we'll do that as we go forward here. But this would be if you don't have an operating system. If you have an operating system, uh, there's easier ways to do it. And then we can also, as we discussed, we're going to show you mass updates here shortly. So, all right, um, to kick this off, the first thing that you're going to want to do um, is you're going to go to Dell.com. We're going to go into the search bar here, and we're going to type in R530. A couple options pop up. You're going to want to click on the Power Edge R530. Okay. After that, you're going to have a few more options pop up. We're going to go to Drivers and downloads. Click on the drivers and downloads. It's going to give you uh, several options here. And we're going to go to the category kind of on the bottom right here. And we're going to get to the BIOS option. So select BIOS. And when you do this um, towards the bottom of your screen, it's going to actually give you uh, an option uh, where you can download the BIOS update. The problem here is you don't want to actually download an EXI. So you're going to hit that drop down and you're going to click the other formats, uh, the link right there kind of in the middle. So we're going to click other formats. And after we do that, that's going to give us the opportunity to download the EFI file. Now we're going to actually just click download and uh, it's pretty much just that simple. So now it's going to download the EFI file uh, to your computer. And then we're going to show you the steps on how to actually take it from your computer and put it onto your USB. Okay, so this is going to be relatively simple. We just, you know, we located where uh, the file was downloaded. We're just going to drag that over to the USB drive. When you click on the USB drive, you'll see it's actually in there. Pretty simple. All right, now that we have moved the EFI file over to the USB drive, we're going to actually install the update now. So what you're going to want to do is boot up your R530 and make sure that the USB drive is plugged into your R530. When it boots up, you're going to come to your normal screen here and you're going to click F11 to get to your boot manager. Once it enters the boot manager, you're going to scroll down to system utilities, select system utilities. And once you've selected system utilities, it's going to give the option to download the or to click a BIOS update file explorer. Click on that. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to select the USB drive in the BIOS update uh, file explorer. Once you select that, it's going to actually start the BIOS update. This will tell you that the current BIOS version and the version that you're updating to, you're going to want to select continue BIOS update to proceed. Your system may take a few minutes before it allows you to select the continue button um, and don't worry about that. The delay is normal. Uh, it's just kind of part of the overall process. So give it a few minutes um, and then you can actually click it. We're going to fast forward so that we don't you know, waste any time here. Uh, but just do know that it is normal that you're going to have to wait a little bit of time right now. All right, so it finally gives us the option to click Continue BIOS Update. And once we do, you can see here that it's actually updating the BIOS on our PowerEdge R530. Um, right now, the 2.13.0 is the uh, current latest BIOS update. 
Uh, we're making this in the summer of 2022, so you know I'm sure there'll be some updates, you know, between now and whenever in the future that someone you know does watch this. But you can see right now it's updating it from the uh, 2.4.3. You know, it's going to take some time to do this. It's going to take several minutes, as a matter of fact, to do this. So you know, I'm just uh, you know expected it'll take some time. It's no big deal. Uh, once everything actually gets done and it you know, does finish updating the BIOS, you can confirm that the update worked properly by viewing the BIOS update version at the top of the screen when you um, reboot it. So at the top of the post screen, you'll actually see the new BIOS update and it'll say uh, you know, 2.13.0 or whatever the future you know, upgrades are, the, you know, down the road. So cool. Well, thank you for uh, stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to update the uh, BIOS on your PowerEdge R530. Uh, do us a favor. If you found anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking to uh, order any R530s yourself or you um, you know need some custom built for your data center, we'd love the opportunity to help you out. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.